Hi everybody. So this was a suggestion to me and I thought it was awesome because what I tend to do is um, projects all over the place and then I bring them together and that can be a bit difficult to follow and equally a bit difficult to find because the main purpose of the channel, the main thrust of the channel is energy storage and generation. Of course, we look at loads of other things because who wouldn't? The world is such a fascinating place. But that apparently is the main theme of the channel. And if you look at a lot of the videos, they centre around that theme. Now, we have been doing a lot of work on these rocket stoves. Now, rocket stoves are great heating appliances, that's for sure, but they are far more adaptable than that. And if you look in the playlist on rocket stoves, you'll see that we've run this rocket stove over a wide variety of fuels. We've run it on wood, and we've run it on motor oil, we've run it on vegetable oil, we've run it on biodiesel, just this huge range of fuels that we can run this rocket stove on. And of course, it creates a massive amount of heat right here. And we've used that heat in video 1607 as a sand battery. Now there is no difference between a sand battery and a boiler, with the exception of course of filling it with water instead of sand and putting a pressure gauge and pressure relief valve on it, then you have a perfectly safe boiler. I mean, it is a boiler, so there's perfectly safe and perfectly safe. Obviously you need to take care with a boiler, but it's relatively easy, relatively safe to turn this whole thing into a steam boiler that will run on just a wide variety of fuels, which is great if you want a hot cup of tea. But then what do you do with it? Well, steam, obviously, we can run a steam engine. So we have run the Stirling engine on this thing, and Stirling engines are great in that they don't need much in the way of engineering, but they are relatively low powered, being the downside of them, and of course a steam engine is going to be a great thing to be able to run. So we're going to combine this with water storage to create a steam boiler that we then put in a steam engine. Of course, the big question then is, what steam engine? Now, during World War II, there was a type of steam engine called the Stuart Sirius. Stuart is a steam engine company that produced uh, models and castings, and they made this Sirius engine, which had a one centimetre piston, uh, sorry, a one inch piston with a one inch throw, dropped it behind enemy, enemy lines, and it was used to generate power with a gen set for running radios. So that immediately makes you think, hmm, that's very interesting. Now, the Stuart Sirius was a double, double piston uh, steam engine, and linked to, uh, I think it was an Alco generator. Having a look at that kind of price, they're about 350 quid just for the castings. So steam engines are relatively expensive things. But of course, one thing you find an awful lot of is people converting these things into steam engines. This is an air compressor. Now, I got this from Vivo. It cost me 99 pounds. It's brilliant, actually. It has a cast iron cylinder couple of pistons at about two and a half inches with about a two and a half inch throw, aluminium cylinder head and all the gearing and flywheel here. So it's all done, complete, working, £99. So we have to convert this into a steam engine. That's the task. So the project is to take our rocket stove, which we've given full details on how to make, add a walker jacket, create a steam boiler, turn this into a steam engine and then we have ourselves a genset that can be run from a huge variety of fuels in any condition whatsoever. I mean, the history of this is from the uh, World War II, but the use of it, well, that's astounding. I mean, particularly at the moment where we're looking at um, running out of lots of different fuels, where we're looking at running whatever we can to run to create our energy should we have a blackout. So it makes an emergency genset that could be run off a huge variety of materials, including twigs from the wood. And I thought that was a really interesting and awesome project. It's a big project, because obviously, I actually don't know what I need to do with this. So I'm going to have to order parts for it, and then wait for the parts, then do the next bit of the build, and so on. So I'm going to try and make it a co cohesive whole. So we do a bit as an entire project, but the overall project is moving towards building that gen set. So, I will produce those videos as and when I can, which is mostly when the bits arrive. We'll do that over a series of videos, and that's the plan. Combine this with this to produce energy of a wide range of fuels. I hope you like the idea. 
I hope you follow through the project and I hope it helps people who want to do a similar project themselves. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.